YouTube, Apostle Stacy here, and thank you for watching Dimensions of Stacy. Listen, I just need to tell you all that I am amazed at God, simply in awe of God's goodness. I'm grateful, and I'm running on limited sleep right now, so amen. Pardon the bags in my eyes, but listen, I know that because of where we are right now, you know, this first of the year, this new start, this new beginning, there is anticipation in my spirit, and I'm expecting God to do some awesome things, and you know, sometimes you just got to sacrifice the time, you got to sacrifice the sleep, you have to sacrifice whatever it is that you need to, so that you can remain in position to hear what God is saying and what God is speaking. Uh, if you have not had an opportunity to check out the video, uh, what is keeping, up, keeping you up, or waking you up at night, I believe. I'm talking about uh, those of us who wake up in the middle of the night and wonder why. I want you to watch this, watch that video, and maybe it will answer some of your questions. This video is actually a response of that uh, uh, response to a question that I had uh, from that video in my inbox, and I was just compelled to try to come on real quickly and answer that question because I believe it's a question that many people have concerning prayer. And oftentimes when I do videos, um, I'm asked questions about prayer and I may answer them in the inbox or I may just do a um, video on it if I feel that and this is something that a lot of people uh, like would like to know, especially if I get a request in the inbox to do it several times, then I know that it's something that... Um, that the people would like to know. And I left my glasses in the other room, so I'm going to have to lean forward to read this. Um, but I want to thank this viewer. I want to thank this subscriber for asking me this question. And I, I just want to encourage you guys, if you have a question and you feel like, I'm not going to ask her, ask, ask, please, ask. Because it's probably not just you that wants to know. There's a variety of things that we have questions about in our walk with the Lord. And sometimes they don't always get to get covered. Sometimes our pastors don't get a chance to cover these topics in Bible study or um, even in a sermon. And maybe you don't even know, you know who to go to to ask. So if I can help you at all, I'll do my best. I will do my best to answer the question, and also trying to ref uh, and I also try to refer you if I have any references of resources or pages or links that I can refer to you to. If I myself don't know the answer, and there are tons of great teachers on about. Uh, 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 great Bible teachers, rather, on YouTube, and I'm just one of them. I'm just one of the people that come on. So if I can refer you to somebody else who's done a study, or even if you're watching the video and you've got a link to a, a good study, post it. It's probably somebody else that needs to know the answer to the questions that you have, okay? So anyway, she writes, good morning, Apostle Stacy. Good morning. She says, I have many questions to ask you, but there is one in particular that I want to ask. It's about birthing in the spirit. When I'm praying in intercessory prayer, sometimes I get a hard heaviness that feels like I'm pushing. Feels like it's coming from deep inside. I can't explain it. And when I ask a few of my family members who are also intercessors, they seem not to know what I'm talking about. I haven't asked anyone in the church about it, but it doesn't leave until after the inter intercessory session is over. Does does this happen to some in intercessory prayer? Um, does this happen to some intercessory prayer warriors and not all? I just want to understand it more. And she says, I'm learning so much for you about things that aren't even discussed. God bless. And I won't reveal her name, but you know who you are. And I want to thank you so very much for writing. And I'm grateful. I'm just grateful that God uses these videos that I do. Um, to reach so many. And I'm, I'm just thankful. Again, I'm floored. I am floored uh, by the response that I've got, already gotten from the video about, you know, what's keeping you up at night or why you're up at night. Um, because it's just the season that we're in where a lot of people are being awakened and they're being awakened to pray. And that's just the season that we're in right now. And wherever you're watching this video and whenever you're watching this video, perhaps it's relating to where you are right now. But I want to get into the mess, uh, the heart of the uh, message, you know, the um, question that she asked about the the burden to push, like almost birthing. Yes, that, that is definitely something that is a reality in the realm of the spirit. No, you're not making it up. No, you're not crazy. But yes, um, that is called travailing prayer. Travailing prayer. And it's similar to when a woman is in childbirth or in labor and has to push until that child is birthed. 
The same thing happens in the spirit where God will supernaturally give us a burden. And when I say give us a burden, he will put something heavy on our hearts. An assigned uh, assigned thing to pray about. Um, you may not always have natural knowledge of what it is that you're praying about. But praying in the spirit, praying in the Holy Ghost, praying in other tongues. Uh, and, and, and the Bible says that the spirit of God will make groanings for us. Um, you know, he'll intercede through us through groanings that can't be uttered. And many times when we're in that travailing prayer, it's just that deep uh, feeling of having to push, having to labor. Uh, travailing prayer is a labor a laboring type of prayer. So look up, when you get a chance, look up Travailing Prayer. And if any of you all have any links to help this sister out, post them, okay? Travailing Prayer, that you're not making it up. Oftentimes in prayer, we will receive a burden, a spiritual assignment from the Lord to pray. And it will not lift, it will not release until we've prayed through. You know, we used to say, pray through, honey, pray through. And we would just work with that thing and labor with that thing until we reached a point of breakthrough. Okay? So, no, you're not making that up. I just want to do a quick video. This is definitely not an all-conclusive or whatever Bible study, of course. I'm just here really quickly to put this video up to let you know, know that you're not making it up. It, um, I want to also invite you to uh, the Prophet Stacy channel, and I'm... I have a prayer ministry called Prevailing Prayer Intercessors. And there's some clips of us praying. And perhaps that will help you. Perhaps that will witness to uh, what you're experiencing in prayer. Uh, when we get into that place, when we get into that, that dimension of prayer, where it's not a whole lot of words being passed. It's just laboring. It's just pressing hard after God until that breakthrough happens. Many people are skeptical of that. They say, don't take all that. And perhaps they've never experienced it with them themselves if they say that and that's no problem because you know sometimes people don't understand and maybe they don't get it maybe they've not experienced that it does not make us spiritually superior to people it just means that that's the way that God deals with us so you know if this, if this is where the Holy Spirit is allowing you to experience it's definitely a gift from God because you never know what it is that you're birthing in the spirit and sometimes God will give you I have many things right now uh, that God is dealing with me about many 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 things and when I go to pray for those things it usually ends up with me saying oh God Lord you know oh God you know that Travailing, and most of the time it's not in English. Most of the time I have to pray in the Holy Ghost. I have to pray in unknown tongues because I don't even have natural knowledge of what God is trying to reveal in that thing. I don't even know. But it's through those groanings that we can't even comprehend that God is, is birthing things in us and even in others many times we travail for situations and travail let me say travail is a, a, a gift from God a lot of people don't understand because it comes to you just out the clear blue sky sometimes sometimes you don't even know why you feel like you feel sometimes you don't even know what it is that's got you just kind of out of yourself you're just not there for the last couple of days I've been sensing some things in the spirit that I can't even understand and when I go to God in prayer, it's, I don't even have the words to articulate what it is that I'm feeling. But I know this it's just this heaviness. It's just this weight. It's just this thing in me that's keeping me up at night saying, pray through, pray through, pray through, pray through, pray through. And this can last any anywhere for a few moments, to days and weeks, even sometimes months. But when you have gotten that breakthrough, you'll know it. You'll know it. And travailing prayer turns into prevailing prayer. And you have uh, won and overcome and reached the point of breakthrough. And I like to reference uh, how Jacob wrestled with God. The Bible said all day, you know, he all night rather in that fourth watch. He wrestled with God until the breaking of the day. And when I read that about the daybreak, you know, that's not just always uh, uh, literally speaking. Many times that's figuratively speaking because our daybreak, can, our breaking of the day, the breaking of the new, the breaking of the dawn can come in any moment in prayer. It doesn't always have to do with what's on the time clock in the chronological time, but many times on the chronos, the time clock in the spirit. Um, anyway, I know I'm probably using some terms that people don't understand. Um, but yeah, do some research on 
travailing prayer. That's the terminology we use for prayer burdens, receiving the burden of the Lord. And it's not anything that I would, uh, you know, say you got to seek after. You know, when you are an intercessor and you enter to these realms of the spirit, it'll happen. God will give you a burden to pray for stuff you don't even know how to pray for. Or you don't even know what you're praying for. But it will be manifested through that, that feeling of heaviness. I've even had spiritual labor pains. And let me say this. I don't seek after these signs. I don't seek after these manifestations. I seek after God. But in my seeking after God, many times I'm able to experience different things. Different uh, things that we can kind of compare to natural things to let us know what's going on in the spirit. And I've never had children. I've never been pregnant, not married. But I can relate to the fact that, oh my God, this must be what pregnant women go through because I'm feeling this burden like it's something on the inside of me that has to uh, uh, come out. It's a, a spirit of God giving me this unction to push through prayer and to birth out what it is. So I just want to challenge you. Woman of God uh, who asked me this question, I want to challenge you to embrace it, to yield to the Holy Spirit when he's using you in this manner. Everybody around you may not understand, and it's okay. Maybe God will give you the grace to teach and to lead them and to help them to understand because we are help us one to the other, okay? So thank you for asking. We'd love to come on and answer any more questions that anyone has um, if I can do that for you. Because sometimes, like I said, we don't always get to ask these questions in a Bible study setting or even in prayer. You know, sometimes in prayer, we can't just stop and say, okay, what is this? And even if we do, maybe those that are there may have not, they may not have experience that or you just may not feel comfortable in asking in that type of setting so I do encourage you to do that um, to ask if you you know have questions and I'll either try to answer you in the PM you know in the inbox or I'll try to come on and do a video okay you all thank you so much for uh, writing in and for your comments and for your feedback thank you for subscribing thank you for those of you all who will pass these videos on to others i don't do this for my own glory there ain't no money in this okay i'm not uh getting a uh, contract or anything i'm just doing it because i really feel that this is needed in the body of christ okay so i value the time that we have to talk i value the time that we have to converse and just to share with one another i consider you all a part of my extended ministry family and i want to thank you so so much for making ministry possible. Enjoy Jesus and knowledge joys.